on the next episode of The West Wing. You have lunch with Senator Davies. Hey. And your two o'clock on the hill is canceled. Do you too? I canceled it. Donna. You're selling out that health care bill, Josh. Donna. It's a good bill, Josh. Donna. I have a date tonight. Okay. With a man. Okay. You're selling out that bill, Josh. Donna. There's a situation on the treaty. Situation? On the treaty. A treaty situation. I dated a hooker. A hooker? <laughs> he dated one. Donna. What's up? There are 300 Cuban refugees on boats headed into a hurricane in the Atlantic, and I need the lyrics to the Notre Dame fight song. The fight song? The lyrics, I need them. I'm an alcoholic. Leo? Drinking. I did too much of it. Leo. Martin's not getting a seat on foreign relations. He's a seat of appropriations. Appropriations? There's a seat. Donna. I used to drink. I drank. I was drunk. Leo, we should consider the seats. Consider? The seats. Lang will move. Donna. My ex is a hooker. This opens up Senator Armstrong. The yeah, judiciary. Who wants attorney general? Thomas Stanton. I drank. Stanton takes judiciary. He vacates the foreign... Relations. Donna. <laughs> Martin and Hendricks. Lost them. On judiciary? Lost. Lost? On judiciary. How lost? Lost, lost. But how? I'm so angry I'm about to explode. <laughs> I'm exploding. <laughs> I just exploded. <laughs> President wants to see you. Oh, Josh! Don! Donna! Leo! Sam! CJ! Oh, 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 Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President sorry. sorry! I apologize on behalf of Josh! Don. Josh! Don. Josh! <clears throat> Over 200 years ago, the founding fathers came here with nothing but the church on their backs and a good idea. Then there was this time that a little girl cut open a tomato. She saw that the inside of the tomato had formed into a perfect rosary. People said they thought this was a very impressive little girl. I don't know. I think it might have been a very impressive tomato. <laughs> Ghost Guard reports that 300 Cubans made it to Miami. The shirts on their backs, they came through a hurricane. And they want a better life here with us. Talk about impressive. My point is this, don't sleep with hookers. <laughs>